Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all good. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the birth control next plan on. With that being said, let's get started. So today I had a doctor's appointment for a consultation that turned out to be a procedure. Nexplanon is a prescription birth control to prevent women from becoming pregnant. And also many women use it to control their menstrual cycles. Um, for example, if they get really severe cramps, they also use it for that because it helps them. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an OB. If you guys wanna go ahead and talk to them, go ahead and speak to your doctor, to them and just listen to what I have to say. I had made my appointment for the next plan removal a month ago since I already knew that it was going to be around the time that I needed to get a new one and take that old one out. So from there, I went ahead and I made the appointment over the phone and they told me that it was fine, that they were gonna go ahead and do it, but it was going to be a consultation since they don't do the procedure the same day. I said, it's fine, let's go ahead and do the consultation because I need this removed and I need a new one. So today is the day of my appointment. I go in and I'm like, okay, let's do this. This is gonna be a consultation. I'm gonna have to go over my history again. And nope, they pulled out everything and they were like, oh, uh, so you know the doctor's gonna be removing it today, right? Uh, I was like, wait, this is a consultation. They were like, no, the doctor does not like doing the consultations and then having you come back again. She likes doing everything at the same time. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do this. So that's what the doctor did. So they prepared everything. They went ahead and uh, brought the whole procedure little tray into the room and then they told me that if I wanted the new one and I said yes so they left again came back and um, put in the little tray so today my consultation visit turned into a procedure visit so of course the doctor went in she introduced herself and we went over a little bit of my history which she already knew but she wanted to hear what I was there to do and if I was aware that she was going to be removing it and implanting the new one, I said yes. So now I'm gonna go into detail of what the doctor did. So if you guys don't wanna hear that, go ahead and move forward. If you do wanna hear it, I'm gonna go ahead and start now. So after that happened, the doctor was like, okay, I'm gonna clean you with alcohol and I'm gonna put this on first and then I'm gonna, you're gonna feel a poke and a sting and it might hurt you, but I need to do that in order to numb the area. I said, it's fine. When you go to the dentist and they give you that pink thing to cover so you won't get blood or nastiness all over your chest, that, but in a form of a vest. They also give it to you like if it were to be like a blanket for when you go to OBGYN to cover yourself from the waist down. Well, they have that in the form of a vest and she had me put it on so we wouldn't get any blood on myself. And then after I had to lay back and then put my arm up she had to fill around where it was at and then she noticed that the first insertion of the first Nexplanon was not placed in the correct manner, she said, and that she doesn't know why they placed it there, that it never goes there. So there was a lot of, she said it's like tissue buildup all around it, so it was gonna be a little bit hard for her to take it out, but that she was gonna do it. So she went ahead and told me, you know what, I'm gonna have to put alcohol on you first. Um, and I said, go ahead. She put alcohol all over my area where she was gonna put the new one and where she was gonna remove the old one. Then she went ahead and put some orange thing to numb me a little bit, but that's basically from what I know to clean you so you won't have any germs in that area since it's going to be an open procedure since the scalpel and of course opening. So I saw that. She proceeded to get a vial and she told me, this I'm gonna put it in you and of course it's gonna sting you and it's gonna hurt you so it is gonna be painful and it's gonna sting so just be aware of that but I need to do this in order to numb you and I said it's okay Ooh, I was not expecting it to sting that bad the first time it stung but not this bad so this time around it hurt me so much and I could feel the needle like this big and I also sigh when she had it in the tray and I could definitely feel it and she was like literally putting it in and then taking it out and then again in, out, in, out without taking it fully out if that makes sense. And once she's done in the whole area that she's gonna be working with, she takes it completely out. So that hurt a lot, it was very painful. And then she let it be like that for a couple of seconds and then she's like, okay, now I'm gonna test if it's really numb and if you feel anything, let me know. Do you feel this? And I was like, no, do you feel this? No, now I'm gonna try something else. Do you feel this? And I said, no. She said, at any point during this procedure, if you feel anything, let me know so I can put you a little bit more of that uh, numbing. Uh, she was struggling. She, I can hear that she got the little scalpel and I can hear like my skin kind of like opening. And at one time I did kind of feel like the little scalpel thing that I started flinching and she's like, do you feel it? And I was like, it's fine, it's it's fine. She's like, I can, uh, um, 
I can handle it. <laughs> Go ahead. So she tried to, and she's like, okay, now I'm gonna, you're gonna feel a little bit of tugging because I'm trying to pull it out, and it's very deep in there that they placed it in the wrong place. They should never place it here. And she was trying to tug it out, and she couldn't. She was trying to push it out, and that's when I felt like a little bit more pain because she was literally squeezing my skin up. And she told me that it was like a pimple, a very stubborn pimple that you're trying to pop, but it just won't pop. Went ahead and got a little bit irritated that she couldn't get it out, but she was very professional about it. And then she decided to get the new Nexplanon and insert it. And so when she was inserting the new Nexplanon, I felt it a little bit, so I kind of flinched again. Uh, but it was not that bad, but it did feel it. And also it makes this clicking sound like a stapler because if you haven't seen it, it's like a stapler. And then also after she was done with that one, she told me, okay, so the new one is in, let's try and get this old one out. She said that she was gonna cut a little bit more because she couldn't get it out. So I did kind of feel a little tugging, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't that sharp. It was just a little tugging. And then I felt more tugging, like the pressure of her hands trying to push it up and pull it out. So at the end, it took her a while to get it out, but she got it out. And then she told me, I got it out, finally, look. And she showed it to me. If you guys haven't seen the next one, it's supposed to be kind of like a match size and kind of like thickness, a little bit half of the thickness less than the match itself. And it's supposed to be straight. Mine was not straight. It was like super bent. I don't know if it was because she was struggling to pull it out or if they had inserted in the wrong way. And that's why I had pain throughout the whole three years. And I just thought it nothing of it. Well, I saw it and it was really bent. So then she went ahead and closed the incision area where she opened me at. And then she told me, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place this, this and that. And then she told me, I'm gonna go ahead and place the bandage for you. I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit, but if it gets super loose, go ahead and reapply it. Have somebody help you and reapply it. And if it gets too tight, go ahead and loosen it up and reapply it um, if you can. Again, if not, get somebody else to help you. You do not want it to be super tight to the point that you don't feel your finger. After that was done, she did tell me do not get them wet for a couple of days. That means three to five days. So I'm not supposed to get any water on this. And she did warn me that I might bruise because before she put the whole bandage on it, I saw and I was already super bruised in that area. Again, I don't know if it was because of the tugging or because of the removal and the insertion of the other one. Doctor didn't put it in the same location, so she removed the one that I had, but then where it's supposed to go that she said, which is more at the bottom, that's where she put the new one. I'm not supposed to get it wet at all, and I have it. I don't know if you guys can see. It hurts. It's right there. So the old one was like right here, and she put the new one right here. Compared to the first time, this felt way worse for me. Again, this is my own opinion, how I feel. Um, I do feel very lightheaded. I do feel very faint, like very tired. I do have a lot of pain in my arm and I do have it all the way to like my wrist and I can barely like, this one I can move it like nothing. This other hand, it hurts even to like lift it up a little bit. And she said that it was normal to just take care of it. And again, if I saw bruising, to make sure that it's not a really bad bruising to the point that I have to go to the ER. But if it's not, just stay home, uh, relax, or whatever I have to do. Um, but just make sure that it doesn't get worse. And if it does, go to the emergency room. And my arm is hurting me so bad, like really, really bad. Um, and I can barely lift it up. And I'm trying to move it around because I feel it a little bit numb, but not super numb. Um, I don't know if it's because of the pain that I have, but I just wanted to let you guys know what Next Balloon On is and what I did today and how it went for me, just in case you guys are scared of it. I know my first time around that I got the Next Balloon On, I was super, super scared, but it was nothing. Literally done in less than five minutes, and I didn't feel anything. So I really liked it, and this time around I was super scared because of the removal and I didn't know if they were gonna insert it in the same place, which they don't. If you guys wanna know a little bit more of the next one, let me know down below in the comment section. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It helps me bring you guys more videos like these. And if you have, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Until next time, bye guys.